The state, the defendants, the nation is waiting for a verdict in the trial for the plot to kidnap the governor over her COVID restrictions and anti-government hate. The fate of four men are hanging in the balance. Brandon Caserta of Canton, Daniel Harris of Lake Orion, Adam Fox of Grand Rapids, and Barry Croft of Delaware all face up to life in prison if convicted. The jury deliberating all afternoon at a federal courthouse in Grand Rapids, but no decision made yet. They will be back on Monday. 7 Action News reporter Jim Kirstner has been on this case from the very beginning and joins us live from Grand Rapids with what happens next. Jim, fill us in. This is a jury of six men, six women. They will be back here first thing Monday morning. There are also three alternates will be kept in a separate room. They heard several hours of closing arguments, two vastly different stories. Federal Prosecutor Nils Kessler told the jury this case is not just about government hate and the rights of Americans who can criticize government publicly, protest, vote out elected representatives at the ballot box. What we can't do is kidnap them, kill them, or blow them up. Two men who were charged, Ty Garbin of Heartland, Caleb Franks of Waterford, took plea deals, testified for the government. Kessler told the jury, came in here and testified to you that this plot was real, and that's why they pled guilty. And to ease any doubt about the conspiracy, Kessler said, even if it was impossible for them to pull it off, it doesn't matter. You have to believe that they intended to do it right. There's a lot of evidence that they did. He addressed Big Dan, who was the insider who worked for the feds and has been targeted by the defense as part of the entrapment. Kessler telling the jury, throughout four weeks, did you hear anything that convinced you that Dan or anyone else coerced anybody into doing anything? Did you hear anything that convinced you that this idea came from the government and not from the defendants themselves? Defense attorney Christopher Gibbons for Adam Fox told the jury the theme they've used during the trial, there was no plot, it's all just talk, and the plot was not Adam Fox's plan. He put the blame on the feds, saying, we think the evidence shows clearly those plans belong to the government. We don't make terrorists, so we can arrest them. Now we're going to have more next hour at 6, including one other defense attorney telling the jury that the FBI was willing to hide the truth that this case is just smoke and mirrors. And how does the prosecution respond? We'll see you with all of that next hour at 6. Live in Grand Rapids, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. Jim, as always, thank you for the report. We'll see you at 6.